Historically, people have viewed houses as investments because of their rising value. The idea that owning property may be an investment originates from the fact that historically speaking, real estate values tend to increase with time. And that's still true today. In this video, we will talk about top 5 most expensive houses in America. But before we start the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos. So let's start the video. Number 1. The One, Los Angeles, California. The One, which took 8 years to create, has surpassed all other pricey mansions in the U.S. to claim the top rank. Niall Niemi's modern masterpiece, this private mansion is situated on a 5-acre site in Bel Air, Los Angeles, California. The Pacific Ocean, downtown Los Angeles, and the majestic San Gabriel Mountains are all visible from every angle of the house without any obstructions. Inside and out, five gigantic pools and amazing water features wow the sensory experiences. A huge nightclub, complete salon and spa, 10,000 square foot sky deck, 400 foot exclusive outdoor running track with a crystal view of the city, and personal theater seating over 40 probably peruse the list. Every thinkable amenity creates incredible comfort, and despite the estate's enormous size, each room is meticulously decorated with a neutral palette that pays homage to the breathtaking landscape. According to Bloomberg, the one can be listed as a $500 million property situated in Bel Air, California. A magnificent minimalistic modern theme with marble and glass elements and 26-foot ceilings can be seen inside this 105,000-square-foot house. There are 21 bedrooms, the largest of which is the enormous master suite, which is 5,500 square feet in size. Number 2. Four-Story Mega Mansion, Bel Air, California It is a genuine catch for anyone who has a taste for opulent living with an internal space of 38,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms, and 21 bathrooms. Along with a swim-up bar, you also receive 17,000 square feet of outdoor deck space. In addition to a collection of over 100 extremely expensive and rare works of art, this American estate also includes a staggering $30 million worth of rare and expensive autos, including a Bugatti. The genius Bruce Makowski planned the house, which was finished in four years by 300 talented workers, an 85-foot-long outdoor pool, large commercial elevators, a bowling alley, a massage therapy room, a spa, a rooftop helicopter, and a home gym are a few of the other outstanding features and facilities in this contemporary property. Number 3. West Creek Ranch, Gateway, Colorado This house is so big that it extends into both Colorado and Utah. Four separate pieces of the property make up the 8,700 acres that make up West Creek Ranch. It naturally follows that Discovery Channel founder John Hendricks would own this exquisitely constructed home that is tucked away in the wilderness. On the exclusive ranch, there is a 25,500 square foot main house with four stories, eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and an elevator. The main ranch house is 22,000 square feet, and there are numerous more lodge-style homes all around it. This permits the building to have a hopping 72 rooms in total. This home's interior is elegantly furnished with rustic char and features stunning architectural details. The main house has eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a stone-walled circular library, an art studio, a gym, a theater, and a swimming pool with a jacuzzi. Number 4. Villa for Rents, Beverly Hills, California The largest gathering in Beverly Park, Villa for Rents, is an actual Italian village this one-of-a-kind property, which spans over nine acres and can be reached by its roadway, took more than seven years to develop. A 30-car courtyard with 40-foot-tall Canary Island palms and a setting fit for the grandest Italian palazzo are accessible through large gates. A total of 20,000 square feet of space inside the house provide every conceivable convenience, including high ceilings, spacious, formal meeting places, and intimate quarters. The home offers capacity for 12 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms, as well as several living and eating spaces. The beautiful property also includes a stone approach to the home and a gated stone entryway that leads to a motorized court with a fountain in the mill. The villa was designed by William Haplinski as a fusion of Mediterranean and Italian design. 
Number 5. Chartwell, Los Angeles, California The Chartwell Estate was exquisitely created by architect Summer Spaulding in the 1930s to resemble a historical neoclassical fantasy chateau. In reality, it's thought that the name of this house was inspired by an English mansion from the 14th century. This residence is regarded by many as one of Leigh's greatest homes due to its majestic and elegant appearance. There are multiple formal dining rooms, numerous sitting rooms, and a big ballroom throughout the house. Other noteworthy features and amenities include a tennis court, a pool house, a guest house, and an underground garage with room for 40 automobiles. The estate contains 11 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms, and five of those bedrooms are in a large guest house. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. For more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. So flooring that leads to the master bedroom is white oak, of stucco walls, exposed concrete over here to the left-hand side, and this bedroom is filled, filled, filled with natural light. You don't even need lighting in this room from how lit it is. At uh, first, the shades and the privacy shades, so you can see how you can utilize this very bright, but you can also bring out the shades if you wanna dim down the lights and spend some time in here with not so much light. You also have another setting, your blackout shades. Now, if you really wanna get this dark, you bring these down right here. I'm gonna show you how all these doors pocket in, bringing the inside and the outside together as one. We got two more, three more doors to go. Look at this room right now, Ray. Look at how the inside and the outside is completely connected and seamless here. I mean, I can walk from my master bedroom and pretty much just walk right into the pool if I wanted to. As you enter the master bathroom, you're gonna transition from white oak floors to terrazzo flooring. And the first thing that hits you when you walk into this bathroom is the incredible amount of natural light that comes in here. You got 12 foot ceilings, 12 foot sliding glass doors. To my right hand side, you got a wall mounted floating vanity. You have a freestanding tub which is right next to your glass enclosed shower slash steam room slash sauna. But before I talk a little bit more about the details about this bathroom, I first wanna open up the sliding doors to let a little bit more natural light come in here. So as I bring you back around to give you a little bit more detail about this shower. So this is the controls to your sauna or steam right over here. And this device right here is where the steam comes out of. So the way it works is you have a vent. So what you would do is if you want to make it into a steam room or a sauna, you close this glass, you close this, and you have a sauna or a steam room. You can also open it, open the glass this way, turn on the fan, and it sucks the steam right up. Right behind the shower, you have the makeup station right next to the master closet. Gorgeous, gorgeous cabinetry. Very, very spaced out. You're gonna notice, once again, 10-foot ceilings. What I really, really like about this is the hidden LED lights. You also have your own private yoga deck, which you can have it as a yoga station. I mean, look at the landscape here, complete privacy. This turret is private to both master bedroom and master bathroom. Over here is the master bedroom. See, deck connecting from the master bath to the master bedroom. As we exit the master bedroom, we walk down this hallway. On your right-hand side over here, you have the media room. This media room is actually very special because it was thought out by the owner for multiple uses. You can use it as a media room, or this can technically convert to the fifth bedroom of the house. Great feature when you really want to black it out and watch a movie in complete darkness. Let's go to the other side of the house so I can show 